What's going on good folk of the internet? IG back here again today. We're going to be talking about tweaking tools. Tools that you can use to tweak your operating system to how you want to run it. So we're going to have a look at ones for Windows. We're going to have a look at some for Linux. So let's do this. So when it comes to tweaking Windows to what you want to have uh, they look no further than Ultimate Windows Tweaker 4.0.1.0. Basically, this is the version that they brought out with Windows 10. And uh, guess what? It's really, really easy to go into uh, the security and privacy and have a look at all those privacy sharing options that you can simply disable. Uh, and again, a lot of uh, a lot of Windows 10 users were very concerned about the privacy settings that were by default in Windows. But of course, if you missed disabling all those privacy settings when you first updated to Windows 10, then you can definitely do that here with the Ultimate Windows Tweaker. Now, that's not to say there's a bunch of other stuff you can do with this little app as well. Um, look, there's way too much for me to go into here. You can tweak everything from how modern apps look to uh, to the way that Windows 10 looks in general, what icons you want where um, you can tweak user accounts, user account uh, permissions. Um, there's all kinds of, of context menus here. This is by far one of the most comprehensive tweaking tools that I've ever seen on any platform. Um, so definitely check this one out. It's a free download. Um, and uh, yeah, it basically gives you full control over your Windows machine. And they have versions available for Windows 7 and Windows 8 if you want to optimize and uh, fully, I guess, customize your Windows, to, um, your Windows install. Now on the Linux side of things, there is no shortage of tweaking tools that are available for many different desktops and uh, distributions and desktop environments. Obviously, right here, I'm right now, I'm using Elementary. Uh, elementary Freya to be exact and Elementary does actually have a tweak tool that is available for it um, So it's called Elementary Tweaks. It's uh, fairly straightforward and it basically plugs into the system settings as you can see here You can change things from like the uh, fonts animations the way Pantheon the window manager um, The way it uh, functions you've got your different themes and that again you need to unlock the uh, you need to unlock with your root password for that and you've also got different customizations there to things like plank files slingshot uh, and uh, and some other little bits and pieces um, I really like this uh, slingshot launcher um, customization so if you have a big screen you can actually customize how many icons you have in that space there which I think is pretty cool um, so yeah little tweaks like that can make life all that much easier uh, when you are using a desktop environment that already looks pretty sweet uh, now obviously if you're using a different desktop or say you're using Ubuntu most of us would be familiar with Ubuntu tweak um, Ubuntu tweak has been around for quite some time and uh, it probably hasn't been developed in the most robust sense of the word but it's still around it's still available and it still gives you a lot of useful tools uh, to do a lot of the stuff that um, that is not impossible to do without it but it just makes it that much easier to tweak it to the way that you want it um, including adding and removing apps cleaning up your um, your app to get cache and uh, all, all kinds of other things of that nature now if you are using um, I guess this will apply to all Ubuntu and its derivatives um, but if you're looking for something more specific to tweak unity which is the desktop environment on Ubuntu um, because out of the box unity doesn't have a lot of customization but you can use the unity tweak tool and the unity tweak tool is about as official as they get in terms of tools that you can use to tweak how unity behaves whether it's the launcher your search um, your your search up in the dash or any of those other elements um, you can tweak all of those using unity tweak finally there's gnome tweak which is probably the granddaddy of all of these tweaking tools um, again this is something that has grown a lot over the years and while I can't show you this one because I'm not using GNOME uh, definitely it's, it's available across nearly every distribution out there um, so anything that's using a GNOME distribution um, is you know is going to be able to install GNOME tweak tool and it does a lot of the same that a lot of those other tweaking tools that I've mentioned already do in terms of changing how it looks changing how it functions how big how small some elements are to get it really dialed down to what you want to use. Um, obviously it also changes things like icon packs and theming and all of that fun stuff. So definitely start playing, ar playing around with these tweaking tools because it can really tweak a lot out of your system and get it working the way that you want it to. Um, now, why is there no tweaking tool for KDE? Well, I'm not really aware of one, but then again, I'm not really aware of the need for one uh, because KDE already has fantastic controls to tweak its own desktop built in already. 
that'll be all from me guys I will see you all in the very next video like it if you help if it helped you out and subscribe if you want to see this sort of stuff again I will see you all in the very near future peace out ladies and gentlemen mm -hmm.